Swearing is something we saw adults do as kids and subconsciously we thought of it as an adult thing to do. So as young kids in school, we swear behind our parents' backs and in our friend groups. Meanwhile, if our mom caught us doing it, she would slap the snot out of you, but she casually throws the F word in every few sentences. So we just saw how hypocritical the situation is and thought of swearing to be something that was okay. Then all of a sudden we're adults who have terrible vocabularies and swear in most of our sentences. And this is why I stopped swearing. On the website BakerOrange.com, it says curse words slowly creep into our vocabulary without us realizing until they become a natural reaction in a variety of circumstances. Swearing can leave someone with a bad impression, signal a lack of control, and indicate a bad attitude or immaturity. And these were all something I realized myself. For instance, what if a kid around 12 years old came up to you and the entire time he was talking to you, he was casually throwing swear words around? Would you be be able to take this kid seriously? Never. You would probably just laugh it off and think of it as so funny. And as I was saying earlier, kids see it as an, an adult thing to do, so they do it thinking it makes them more mature, while in turn, it makes the adults who do it seem very childish. But not only this, swearing leads to having a pretty homogeneous vocabulary. <laughs> see what I did there? I used a big word because I no longer swear. It seems that people who tend to swear use bad words much more often than other words. Kind of like filler words. They use it as a crutch when they can't convey their thoughts properly from either talking too fast than they can think or just in general not being great at talking. For example, similar crutch words that I've heard before or used as well as um, uh, like, and just any noise that comes out of your mouth to fill empty space when you're trying to talk but lose your train of thought. It doesn't sound too intelligible, does it? So I'm not calling out to you guys to not only completely quit swearing, but look at your everyday language to see what you're not doing too well in. A lot of these things are hardwired in our brain and become natural in the way we talk. And nobody ever thinks to correct you on it. And if they do, you'd probably get so irrefutably mad at it that you never give it a second thought. That's it. I love you guys. Quit swearing. See you next video. So in school, we swore in our four. Also, I want to give a real quick shout out to my last video. Definitely one of the best videos I've ever posted. I definitely recommend going to watch it. Um, yeah, thanks for watching the video, guys. I love you all.